Hey, what's up everyone? It's Comwalks, and Operation Plague Star just hit PC today. So here's a quick overview on what to do and how to get started. Alright, let's go. First, what you want to do is head to Cetus, speak to Konzu about the infestation meteorite that hit Cetus. Then, go to Bounties, select Plague Star, and start. So here's a breakdown of the bounty stages. 1. Search for the encampment. Find the toxin injector. Find the vault. Open it insert the toxin, defend the vault while the toxin mixes, then three, deliver the toxin to the hacked drone, insert toxin into drone, escort it to the infested boil, and once you get there you will defend and control the infested boil area from the infested. Doing all this will grant you 1000 or more standing for the operational supply syndicate for the Plague Star event. All right, everyone, we're at Nakak and Cetus, so let's take a look at the Operation Plague Star rewards. All right, so right off the bat, we have the Phosphor Blau uh, blueprint. This is a flare that increases affinity range while active. Uh, yep, and we have the Phosphor Rod. This is also a red flare that significantly increases affinity range while active. I like the naming. Uh, kind of plays off the kind of like the Grenier English kind of uh, accent thing going on. But we also have the Plague Star Emblem, which is very essential to every event that we do. You can equip it as a regalia in appearances. Uh, we have your Cetus Wisp, and we have a. Ooh, we have resources that have already been refined here. These are the rare. Uh, mind resources. We have the Radian uh, Sintirum and the Hartneth. Uh, that's a pretty good deal, I would say. And it's pretty, it's low cost. Uh, and here we have the uh, Cut resource, uh, fish resources, <laughs> or fish resources that you get from cutting fish. Uh, we have the Mercury Liver, the Nord Brain, and the Cuthel Tendrils. Uh, definitely would recommend if you're nearly maxing out your Ostron standing, get the Nord Brain, you're gonna need that for the last standing. And we have, oh, the re, these are once, I think, retired mods, but they're back. Uh, we have Fulmination and Sacrifice. Uh, Fulmination improves the blast radius of secondary launcher weapons, uh, at max percentage of 24 blast radius, 24%, uh, and we have Sacrifice, which uh, Sentinel takes 4 seconds to revive its downed owner to 100% health and shield to strengthen itself after the process. Pretty uh, self-explanatory there. And Forma, this is a pre-made Forma for 3k standing and 5,000 credits, which is, uh, I think is a good deal if you've already maxed everything uh, and got what you wanted, but this is a really good deal for Forma. Uh, we have the Eidolon Phylaxis uh, times 5 blueprint. Uh, this, is, this is a permanent blueprint. You can reuse it as much as you want. Uh, this basically grants immunity uh, damage that you take from uh, the boil that has crashed in the plains of Eidolon. Or yeah, and we have the returning Snipetron for those who are new and haven't gotten to try out the Snipetron yet. This is basically the vanilla counterpart to the Snipetron Vandal, which you can obtain through invasions. But yeah, if you don't have the Vandal but want to try the Snipetron, you should get this. Uh, we have the Ether Daggers blueprint. This is also, to be noted, a, an alert uh, weapon blueprint that you can get. So. I wouldn't spend the 3k standing for this. This is something that you can get through alerts. And we have two new arcanes, which is Exodia Contagion, which I do not know. Uh, Grants melee attacks unleash a projectile of infestive energy after a bullet jump or a double jump. That's really interesting. I wonder what the proc can do, or if it's different from viral or something like that. Uh, we have the Exodia Epidemic Blueprint, which grants slam attacks after a board jump or double jump okay so it, the the way it procs is probably the same way as contagion uh, it unleashes a shockwave infested energy suspending enemies caught in the blast radius hmm I'm kind of thinking like a Volben like Bastille kind of effect but that's pretty cool good CC effect I would say uh, and last uh, reaching champion 
uh, status within the uh, Plague Star event. Uh, these are the infested Zaw parts. This is a Zaw grip. Increased speed at the cost of damage, pretty much. Uh, we have the Plague Keywater Blueprint, a Zaw strike used for dagger and staff, and its lightweight increases speed at the cost of damage. Okay, cool. And we have the Black Plague Bachman Blueprint. Pretty cool staff, infested uh, looking staff. A Zog were produced for certain machetes, rapier, and dagger style weapons. It's a light uh, weight, provides an increase in speed and at the cost of damage. And last, we have the Plague Creepath. Creepath? Creepath Blueprint. A Zaw strike used for dagger staff and style weapons. It's a light weight, increases the speed of cost of damage. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we were told about infested Zaw parts, so this is going to be really interesting to see uh, how, the, how well these perform within, uh, you know, finalizing a gilded Zaw. But yeah, hopefully the infested Zaw parts stay around and they're just not exclusive event parts. Uh, but yeah, these are the rewards for Operation Plague Star, and I'll see you in the next, next video uh, where we talk about idle on Phylaxis. So yeah, guys, good luck grinding for those bounties. Later.